people welcome to my channel this is your girl Chavonese aka Nisi and welcome to a new video guys if you're new here please consider subscribing please give the video a thumbs up and share it with your family and friends if this video is very important to them <laughs> I don't know why I always seem nervous doing a sit down video is that like <laughs> second nature to me but the reason why i'm on here guys is to tell you guys how i got hired at the hospital yes if you're new here i'm a help pn i'm working at the hospital right now yeah i'm so excited y'all i'm still in training y'all still in training is like the training is intense but let's go back to how it all started with me getting this job so <clears throat> My co initially my co-worker told me about oh go ahead go apply for this hospital job i didn't do it right away i was like oh i don't have time for that i've been applying for a hospital didn't get no call i did went on interview for a hospital didn't get hired i mean that was like a brand new nurse nervous not knowing how to answer question or what to say in an interview and all of that because i was like real real nervous and like the end of the day on a job interview is about you getting to know these people to see like do you really want to work be a part of these team and they're trying to get to know you to seeing if they really want you to be a part of their team so when she told me i go i did fill an application because she keep bugging me about if i did i did i did and then i was like you know what let me go sign up for this um job i sure did and i think it was it, it did take a while i apply and you know when you do app application and you forgot that's how long it did take <laughs> then they reach out to me and the whole reason why i applied too too i always want to work at a hospital and i was like these people are giving bonus with it it's like you're working with them you're getting good benefit good this good that is a great environment to work in i mean based on what i read i'm not in the environment to see what the chaos is with employee and all that but based on all that little research that i read on their website it was good so i was like let me sign up because it's good so after that they call me over the phone i did a phone interview and then after i did the phone interview i went in and i do a next interview i think like two days later or a week later i do a next interview with two people it's like a manager and a second manager so i'm working on the telemetry unit so that to do with the heart so whew, yeah <laughs> So uh, to do with the heart. So we did the interview. Then they reach out back to me and said, um, if I want to come in and shadow an LPN, see what she did only for an hour. And then after I observed what she did and all of that, they asked me if this would be a job that I will willing to take. I'm like, I kind of like this. Y'all made me test the water first before i just drop in there and start who drowned in i kind of like that oh they make you come in you know feel it put your toes in before you put your whole body in the water i kind of didn't like that and then after that then they call me back again which is i think is hr people telling me i'm higher da 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 da, -da offer letter my pay the bonus pay the whole nine yard in that letter how you get the pay how much you're gonna get and all of that <clears throat> and you know the you know the pay the rate the pay rate and after that i did have to do a whole bunch of paperwork then i went in we get i do drugs tests i do fitness tests so basically on the floor that I'm working is it was a COVID designated floor during COVID. So they do get COVID patients. If they do get have COVID patients, it's definitely gonna be on the floor that I'm working on. So we'd have to get I'd have to get fit tests. 
then after the fit test i'd have to do blood work so they took my blood to see if all of my shots is up to date and all of that like if you need it here um <clears throat> at B, at C, those type of shot because I'm going to be working in a very high risk environment. There's a lot of infection like open in the clear. So you need all your shots, all your record up to date and all of that. It's not a requirement to have the COVID vaccine. So I did only, I did fill out a paper for a waiver said I'm not taking the COVID vaccine you do have to have the flu shot so I just fill out the paper for now it's not a requirement I don't know what it's gonna be but I already took a COVID shot before so it doesn't matter to me if I gotta take a next one I know some people is not for the COVID shot but for me I don't care so I will take it so after that, I think that's the lengthy process. And then they tell me the date that I'm going to start, which <clears throat> I do the start date. And then after that, we went in, we do orientation. So the orientation, there was 10 of us and I was the only LPN, the only LPN there. It was a lot of RN, a lot of um, three PCT that I could remember. Yeah, three PCT. And then everybody else was the RN. I'm the only LPN. So it was like one week. What of uh, they're introducing themselves, telling you what the company is about, what their expectation, what you should do, what you not to do, and just telling about the roots about a hospital, when did it start it, and how um <clears throat> it come about and all of that and it's still going on for how many years i don't remember maybe 75 years but a long time ago but that's the process i know a lot of people don't know of lpn could work at a hospital but yes you can but there are some requirement they did want me to have like acute one year of acute skill care experience so that's like working in a rehab are the nursing home I think but I think it's basically working in the rehab because the rehab people are people that just come from the hospital so if you can take care of those people you can take care of people at the hospital too because definitely I'm gonna be working hands in hands with the RN so all they do it at this hospital is like a RN and an LPN work together they call it models and basically when you work with your LPN, you know, you guys decide what you could want to do. You could get up to six patients. And so far, I never, I don't see they get up to six patients. They have up to five, I see, up to five. But that's what it's, that's the process. So if you guys want me to tell you on an updated video of how my... <clears throat> training is going on the floor I could definitely do a video on that and if you want to go ahead and start your new journey at a hospital you're LPN you're kind of intimidated right now you're like oh I, I don't know if they're gonna hire me go ahead fill out application you never know you never know when is your time is it your time so go fill out application and just have a little faith because that's what I mean <laughs> I'm telling y'all to have faith. And my faith was like on the back of the train. But it did finally come to the front. But yeah, just have a little faith. Pray. And if... I don't even know how to say this shit in English, right? Like proper English. But if it's for you, it will, it will, it will happen. That's all I gotta say. I hope this video was helpful and informative. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. I fuck with you, baby, you right You wanna for me, goodbye